I told you don't come around here no more. What? what? I thought I told you don't come around here no more. What? You, 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 you. Oh, what, what the hell are you doing? Oh, you better back up. I will I, slap oh. the white off you. Show you some cat food. Cat food? I was about to get real. I was about to get real real. Nothing like a cat fight. That is a cat fight. Which, speaking of cat fights, I heard New Year's Eve, there was a cat fight at, was it at CNRs? I, I think that cat fight was one cat was in a fight and the other one wasn't. Okay. Okay. That was about that. So it, it was probably like the, even though that was a cat standoff that we just saw. Right. That, at CNR, that black would We might, we uh, might, we might be able to find footage of that fight from CNR. If we do, <laughs> I will put it up right now. Now, if I didn't find it, it wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> if we find it, which I don't know if we can, I don't know, but that that was, that was going around. That was some of the things you said was going around. And yeah. I, and, but hey, I hope everybody's having a great day, and uh, you know we cover everything. We don't get covered in everything. <laughs> we cover everything. And this first story, his name is William. He's 46. 46. Lives in Kansas. Young man. Young, young man. Young man. Lives in Kansas. And he does his due diligence to help people. I do that too. I do that as well. But sometimes when you're doing your due diligence, you have to go through the professional steps. So now, what do you mean by that? Well, William in Kansas is a sperm donor. Does it does it religiously? Sometimes okay. I don't even know if he takes it in, but he does it religiously. All right. Well, William decided that he would help his two lesbian friends by well, that ain't that nice. Donating man. sperm that they can have a child. Well, it's been three years. The little girl's three, and now the two ladies are filing suit that he needs to pay back child support. The donor. It, the donors. So it's at about $6,000. That's like a shot to the head <laughs> right there. That is, exactly. <laughs> but here's the, here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. And I went on, we talked about it. And, you know, January the 8th is court date. Okay. So he gets served because he was serving. And it's Kind of like them cats were fixed to do. Exactly you fixed to get served. Is, is the, well, did you know that he can, under Kansas law, he probably will be have to pay back child support. Why? Because he did not go through the proper steps of going to a doctor's office to get his sperm put in a cup, go to the doctor's office, they come in and get it from the doctor. I think he was just putting it in a milk bucket or something and taking it over. That's a new, <laughs> that is a whole new song of Red Solo Cup in it. <laughs> Here you go. You think he's he's the little the the, the legitimate milkman? He comes up like this, <laughs> puts it on the back porch, and leaves. That man, that is crazy. Now that's not as crazy as the story as you about to tell me. Now you know what he, you know what crazy. he should have done. What he should go down there and get snipped, and then have them pay. Or does he only get paid if it works? No, Probably. he didn't. He didn't. Even, he didn't get paid. He just don't. He just gave him a. He was like. Hey man, good luck, y'all. Wow, well, well he should. Then he should just get them to sign something and get snipped like like we but did. They did. They signed the paper, but the deal under <clears throat> law, it had to go to the doctor. No, have one of the deals where you sign away all your rights or oh, whatever, I totally and then agree. just go over there and do it the old-fashioned way. Yep, I agree. Teach oh, them lesbians man. a lesson. Speaking but, of speaking of the old-fashioned way. Old-fashioned way. There's a girl in Brazil. Brazil. That decided. She would give it away the old-fashioned way. Right, right. She wanted to sell her virginity. Okay. And after doing more research, which we normally don't do, True. we usually read the top sentence. But I watched the story. Her mom had a stroke. Her sister died years ago. She just wanted to get her family out of there, so she went, maybe this is a way to do it. Well, the townspeople didn't like it. Some of them are throwing change at her. Which I hope she's scooping up. It, Probably is, but she got some offers. What's it up? She to? got thousands of offers, and the biggest one being thirty-five thousand dollars. I would have a hard time 
knowing what she's doing and what the story's about to help her mom and family to get out of there to be like. To get, oh, we could really go wrong right now. <laughs> to get wrong. We could, we could really make this show wrong right now, but we're not because we are professionals. I, just, I, can't, I can't even. <clears throat> I just like having here to take my money. But just think. I just put my money on most, the Most. around. Not most. But a lot of girls lose their virginity over a happy meal. That's true. And, you know, when and, and why they're not even being happy. Yeah. Like, ah. <laughs> oh. It's like, man, that's it. Exactly. I think, I, and I don't, I don't see the bad in this because it's like, hey, this is the only way I've got to get my family out of this, you know. It's just because it has that dreaded word, prostitution. Prostitution. And it's illegal. So, you know, I guess that's the deal. It may not be illegal it's over there. I'm saying it may not be. It but not anyway, be. 35 grand. That's, that's just so far. We didn't, that's not the ending story, is it? Yeah, that's it. 35,000. Well, you but, know what? They could turn that into a, a good movie. <laughs> I mean, if you a think lifetime. about it, a lifetime movie. And, you know, the person that we have to talk about movies is kind of like a sperm donor. So, I mean, he kind of covers every topic we've already talked about. <laughs> That's exactly right. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, we have a movie segment. Yes, we do. By our friend and newly resoluted. Is that newly, a word? New, yes. Yeah, for me, yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> a newly resoluted New Year's Eve resolution guy, yep. Mr. David C. Hoke, better known as Hoke. And his resolution was to lose a little weight. Lose a little weight. Back on the eating healthy. Back on the eating healthy. Hey, you know, eat it right. You get up every two hours. Eat it right. No caffeine. Done yep. with all that. Yep. So we aren't we were like, you know what? That's true. I'm doing. I'm working out a little more, eating a little less. We went. Hey, let's time for lunch. Where y'all want to go? And me and Chris was like, free birds. He was like, I'm in. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Anyway. Oh. But hey, hope with your new. Slim and improved one day self. Yes. Take it away. Take it away. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hey, everybody. Our movie of the week is Killer Joe. Now, Killer Joe was based on a play by a playwright turned into a movie. That same playwright wrote the script. It was directed by William Friedkin. And I'm looking at my phone here because I'm looking at IMD because I don't want to get the name wrong. I couldn't remember her name. Juno Temple plays the, the lead actress in it. Phenomenal job, Juno Temple. And a big shout out to a Texas boy, born and bred, Matthew McConaughey. Perfect, great villain. If he's not nominated for an Oscar, Oscar, it's going to be a sham. So big shout out to Matthew McConaughey and all the people behind uh, uh, Killer Joe. Great movie. You will not see what's coming. Intense, not for kids. Just go check it out. And we're back and we're being attacked by helicopters, if y'all can hear that. The news trying to get in. That is not moment. Russell's shoes. That is no. not Russell's shoes. But hey, we got more more things coming tomorrow. We have a segment called Really? That's right. Really. Really? Coming tomorrow, and I think you're going to really enjoy that. And then we have Meredith coming on Monday. But Killer Joe, Killer, I, I watched it. We both saw it, and let me tell you, I'm, I'm, it's two thumbs up, man. Yeah. Two, and two I will never up. eat a piece of uh, chicken right. the same way again. You won't eat K fried C. K fried C chicken, yeah. So get out and get Killer Joe, man. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.